I think the combination of glass and light does something to the human brain. It makes me inquisitive about what I'm looking at. I do agree that my art is balanced and abstract and because of my mindset when I create it, scientifically objective. Sometimes I feel like I'm, when I'm looking edgewise into the glass and I've carved something that's very cellular, it almost feels like I can look into an organism, into something under the microscope that's being studied. Adding the light and having it, as you turn the piece, refract and diffuse and give you more information about everything from the inside to the out is the most fascinating part of combining glass and light. I like the questions. What is this? What was your inspiration? Where did you get this image from? Where did you get that texture from? How did you do it? All that stuff, to me, really engages the viewer. What is this? This was inspired when I was driving on my way to Santa Fe to my gallery. There were these giant rainstorms that you'd drive into this black squall, and the water would just cascade onto the car, and then you'd drive out into the sun. And you would see these vistas of all of these cliffs that had been hit by this water for eons and all of that kind of you know erosion tearing down the cliffs inspired this as well as these little circles which are the water molecules falling to the earth and then evaporating going up as water vapor and then hitting the earth again endless cycles This is a piece of glass. This is some rubbery tape. This is a spiral from the universe. When you're looking at it free of its physicality, what does it make you feel? What does it make you think? The physical fact of what it is is on one level, but the way it causes you to think, to look at other things that you've seen in your mind and compare them this kind of tenuous thing that doesn't exist, this memory you have of an image, and you see something that you know relates to something else, and you really, I get a little excited because I'm, I'm thinking, wait, is there some part of this other thing from my memory, this visual memory of some work of art someone did, something a scientist created, something I saw from nature? Is there some relation to this, and why? This is the hardest question I'm asked. It is the difference between the physical fact of the thing and what you bring to it and what your mind, how it feels when it sees the thing. With this kind of public art, there's a play between the client and the artist that sometimes doesn't work out well, but sometimes it's terrific, like in, in this case, because they were willing to, to come along with me. They thought of perhaps a black granite bar and I talked them into something a little more elaborate. And they renamed the project after my art. They called it the art bar. So this became the focal point. It was because of this synergistic conversation that we had about what, what they needed, where they needed it. And then I kind of said, well, you know, we could do that, but we could also do this. These sculptural tables are created with motion sensors. Once you trigger it, the lights come on. And these lights are fiber optic run to LEDs that are one watts. So there's two layers of glass that are carved on the bottom. The bottom layer has this kind of organic texture and then the inside, sealed inside, are these graceful spirals that represent the tracks of super collider smashed atoms that spiraled into stillness when they were caught by huge magnets. The designs are very science inspired. The whole thing has four zones. There are 50 LED lights. It really casts a wonderful glow and changes in pulse. But to get that all going and, and put all the information, program it into the machine, the little brain that's underneath the counter over there, was something that took everything I had. And it's been a labor of love. I mean, I think what this started me down the road is adding LED illumination to my fine art sculptures, which I can now program hundreds of thousands of different variations of colors. And I've done a 
project on the streets of Lake Oswego um, near Portland where there's a 10 foot high I-beam out of steel that I embedded um, hundreds and hundreds of LEDs and then I put uh, glass like this but carved with little thousands of little cells to diffuse the light. So it's got five zones and it ripples up and down with color. And so this really started me on my journey to do a whole lifetime of becoming not just a sculptor who works primarily in glass, but a light sculpture and, and kinetic sculpture, which is what I'm looking to do, the combination of moving light with the glass, which shows it off so well. What I tried to do was design life where it would be something I'd want to do even if I didn't get paid for it. I finally found that in sculpting glass with light.